Canoe acquires manufacturing assets to increase vehicle assembly capacity. Canoe Technologies, NASDAQ, GOEV, a leading high-tech advanced mobility company, today announced the purchase of manufacturing assets at dramatically reduced prices to scale production at its Oklahoma City facility. Canoe purchased a cache of manufacturing assets, from robotics to controls processing equipment that will be used to build vehicle cabins. As Canoe scales manufacturing to make additional customer deliveries in 2024, the company is continuously exploring ways to acquire high-value equipment at reduced prices through alternative routes. Canoe purchased the assets at a discounted price of over 80% of estimated value. We are a creative and adaptive team and continue to find alternative ways to acquire manufacturing assets to meet our production goals and customer commitments, said Greg Etheridge, Chief Financial Officer at Canoe. With the increasing cost of capital environment, the Canoe team has been diligent in deploying capital and has aggressively pursued critical manufacturing assets at reduced prices. Ramesh Murthy, Chief Accounting Officer at Canoe, added, while many companies invested in capital equipment prematurely, we continue to phase our investment with our growth. These opportunities to acquire assets at significantly discounted prices have allowed us to further reduce our 2023 capital expenditures and also to improve our guidance by millions of dollars. Justin, TX, April 10, 2023, Canoe Inc., NASDAQ, GOEV, a high-tech advanced mobility company has entered into a long-term lease agreement with an affiliate of AFV Partners, a related party, for its recently announced vehicle manufacturing facility in Oklahoma City. Canoe will initially occupy close to 500,000 square feet, with the ability to expand. In Phase 1, Canoe expects to employ more than 500 people, ramping teams over the coming months. One of the reasons we picked Oklahoma is because it has one of the most amazing workforces in America. They have proven themselves across many industries, including aviation and aero defense, which is why we are excited to announce our second manufacturing facility in Oklahoma City, following our vehicle module manufacturing facility event on April 5th, in Pryor, OK, said Tony Aquila, chairman and CEO at Canoe. I want to thank Mayor Holt and the people of Oklahoma City for welcoming us. I also want to thank Secretary of Commerce Marishka and his team for all their help, as well as Tarek's leadership for allowing us to get started with our teams prior to the close. An existing commercial site with room for expansion on more than 120 acres, Canoe's Oklahoma City Manufacturing Facility will support a full general and final vehicle assembly line, state-of-the-art robotics, a body shop, paint shop, and automated paint line including e-code and ceiling, quality control, complete vehicle testing, validation and more. With an existing training center and test track, the facility is located within easy proximity to road, rail, and waterways, making it ideal for sophisticated supply chains and manufacturing. This facility will be powered by OG and E and has the flexibility to incorporate renewable energy. Canoe's recently announced prior facility includes renewable energy sources powered by GRDA. These newly purchased assets will be used in Oklahoma to drive Canoe's manufacturing strategy and create advanced manufacturing jobs in the state of Oklahoma.